Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're going to have to be a little shady now. We are in Shadyville. For this next video that we're about to partake in. And we're going to be in Messyville. And somehow we got into Shittyville towards the end of the video. Okay. But we just being a little messy. Being a little shady. But we just don't understand some things that are partaking in front of our eyes. That we don't quite understand. And sometimes we need to come to the family and get some clarification. Get some more opinions. Okay. Because everybody's opinion is respected. Over here at the house. We just ask that we be uh, responsible enough to um, be nice about saying things. You know what I'm saying? Keep it kosher. Keep it nice. And keep the conversation going. But yeah, we want to know some things. So hell, I want to know some things. I'm just nosy as hell. <coughs> but I want to know, is Diane single? And she ready to mingle? But do she know that that's Portia boyfriend? I don't know because I heard through the grapevine. And it's allegedly... She ain't got Larry no more. Larry ain't nowhere to be found. And that's what I heard now. I don't know if it's true, so don't hold me to it, okay? We just having a conversation. That's all we doing. But, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm asking. Because the things I've been seeing on this YouTube and over on Portia Instagram account and Simon uh, Instagram account, it's pointing to Diane don't have a man no more. Okay, because I don't see what man, not no real man, would allow her to be lavished out by another man okay he bought flowers and if anybody don't know who i'm talking about y'all know i'm talking about portia because she full of shit her and simon ain't nothing but full of shit okay they're trying to drop down all these uh perspectives and viewpoints and optics that they want to uh have us buy and and um what do you call it be giving them kudos for because she they, they like that hollywood life you know and we saw portia trying to break down to us that she may be uh getting into a comedy special of some sort but i don't know i don't know i just don't know because one thing it is with portia is always suspect but again as usual her and her glorified boyfriend are trending over here at the channel, okay? Dale Chanel's 4 days world with the family, okay? With the family in tow. And that's you all, y'all. That's you all. But yes, Portia had this beautiful luncheon for herself, more so. And she invited her mother and her grandmother. And they had a lovely spread, as you can see. From the shrimp. I guess that's Cajun shrimp over there. And I don't know what way over there. It might be crawfish. But um, it that seems like a, a, a cobbler dish. You know what I'm saying? A peach cobbler. And I mean they're doing it up. They're serving it up. You see that pound cake with them fresh strawberries. And I don't understand. For some people they got a nice spread like that. Portia and her mama's shoulder is thin as hell. So what are they doing? Let us know, especially me, because I know I'm overweight. How my doctor say I'm obese, but that's just a whole nother story for another whole video, okay? Just putting my personal business out there for my family to partake of. But yes, honey, if you can clock your own tea, you can't be scared of nobody else, because you already got <coughs> you already got yourself in tow. So can't nobody touch you if you know who you are. Hey, that's all that counts. Just you and the Lord. But that is a nice spread. It's kind of giving me the tease of good housekeeping Martha Stewart with a little bit of Patty LaBelle mixed in now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good eating. Good for the soul. Just like laughter is. And that's all I try to get y'all over here free of charge. Okay? Just sub to my channel. Okay? And let's grow together. But yeah, honey, they had all kind of pasta dishes. And yeah, I had me some macaroni too. But it wasn't looking all pretty like this. This was a pretty spread. I know Portia and her mama didn't have nothing to do with no kitchen. Okay? I know they did. 
Because I don't even know if they can burn. Because we know Porsche can't even boil an egg. Hell, she probably can't even boil water. She might have to check the temperature. Like, which one turns it up hot? Uh, this one or this one turn it cold? Yeah, she can't even test the water temperature. I wouldn't trust them. I would damn sure I wouldn't eat nothing from her. Okay? Because she like cooking with gloves. <laughs> Like, girl, if you'll sit your head down somewhere and let somebody really get in there to cook. All right. But I don't know. I had high hopes for Diane, but she's just, mm mm. She's on my shit list right now. Because I did not anticipate seeing what I saw on the last video that I gave y'all. I sure did not. But <clears throat> Portia or Simon or the both of them contributed to. Uh, seemed like they were getting some lotions and stuff. And they had held it up like it's really expensive. Now, I don't know. Because I'm that dull lover. I'm that Neutrogena type person. Because I can't stand a lot of uh, perfume spells because of my allergies. But I'm like, they holding it like it's like gold or something. So, is that expensive, y'all? I'm pretty sure it is. If Portia and Simon is telling them to take pictures for us to vicariously live through their showing okay like nobody can't afford that we can afford it we wanted to sure can we are ordinary people but we sometimes we splurge on ourselves and we get the same massages and we can call a masseuse to come to our house <laughs> you think you're the only one that can do that simon you ain't showing up or showing out because you should have had about four massages four massage people there so everybody can get one at the same damn time but we see you only got that one and everybody got to take their turn okay Woo, but what kind of picture we got here? What kind of picture we got here? Looky, looky, looky. Who comes cooking? Is Portia mama fooling around with Simon Gabbardia? That's what I want to know. I want to know it. Because ain't no woman going to be like hugging it. You see, that's telling something right there. You see how she leaned in but trying not to, you know, give it too obvious what she may or may not be doing. Honey, a picture's worth a thousand words. And right now it got ho. That's what it's giving me ho. And I ain't talking about in Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Hell no. Nah. I'm talking about ho. Ho. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. And after the lovely dinner, of course, that they had the massages and all this kind of stuff went on, you know, tra um, transpired throughout their day. Somehow, Portia ended up with a Mercedes, okay? Now, I remember when she was doing her family, Portia's matter, she was driving a black Mercedes. Portia was that rented, baby. Was it rented? Because I don't see how you keep getting all these calls. I mean, is Simon doing something illegal he need to tell us about? He needs to stop showing shit on TV. He needs to stop showing stuff on social media. Before he be in up in some federal investigations going on, okay? You ain't hear from me, but I'm just saying. Because what happened to your other Rolls Royce he bought you? That he was flossing. That he was taking pictures of. Putting it on Instagram. Wanting everybody to view his success and what he can give you. Okay? The lap of luxury. But somehow... <clears throat> We're still wondering. We're still thinking because we logical people over him. And some shit ain't adding up. S shit ain't adding up, Portia. Okay? So is he renting these cars? Or he just got you flossing like it's yours, but it really belongs to somebody else? Okay? Because I, I, I don't know. I understand. What do you need a Rolls Royce for as well as a Mercedes? You can't ride but one car at a time. And these gas prices are skyrocketed still. And you ain't got no jobs. And we still have yet to learn, have yet to see what your glorified boyfriend do. Now, I know he was over there playing top golf or something. I guess he was getting his Father's Day thing on. And another thing, where the hell is his children? Where is his children at? I know they probably would have been with their mother. But shouldn't they show some love to you, Portia? Like, showed up and showed out, even if it wasn't but for a couple of hours. Simon, where are your children? Where are your children? Because wouldn't Portia be the stepmom to them? Would she not be the stepmom to them? And y'all know I'm just being shady. Because it, it, I like to take my wig off, okay? And put my teeth in soak. Because I was like, what the hell am I looking at over here? With the mama shaking her groove thing. And then going to be coy cozying up to Simon in that picture that we just got to finish looking at in the kitchen. Where she's like kind of putting herself on him but didn't want to give it too much. We already saw what we need to see, Diane. 
we already saw what we needed to see, girl. And what you doing ain't right. It ain't right. Okay? It ain't right. And you're supposed to be Christian over there. But we know anything but a, a, a just a, a den of deceptiveness and debauchery and a whole lot of. <sighs> I can't say that on TV. <laughs> I, I can't say that one on TV. But we're just going to say something in the milk ain't clean. That's all we're going to say. Something in the milk ain't clean and it's curdling up. Okay? It's curdling up, meaning it's spoiled. It is spoiled. And I can't believe Miss Diane is alluding to she just closing up the Simon. Next, it's going to be something else to something else. And then what Portia going to say? She's going to holler and think we're going to be on her side when you've been and she been encouraging you to come over there. Like, why Simon got to hug you like that? Ain't no need for no hug if he giving out. Free shit. That's what he's supposed to do on Mother's Day. Because you know the favor got to be returned back. Not for you, Miss Diane. But somehow, some way, I believe you're going to be giving him a gift. And again, my question is, where the hell is Larry? Where is Larry? Sounding like a lot of bullshit to me, Portia. It seems like you and your mama and your grandmama is in Shitsville. Because we look and we observe and we're deducing everything to logical reasoning. And we're coming up with our own conclusion. That's what we're doing over here. Because I'm trying to figure out, where is your grandmama's uh, husband? Why is she up here hugging on Simon too? Like I say, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. The tree produces spoiled fruit then everything on it is spoiled i'm just keeping it real over here because that's what i do but i thoroughly enjoyed the spread even though i was not invited over there i definitely enjoyed the spread it was very mouth-watering and tantalizing tastefully done so i don't know who catered whatever it was However you did it, I'm sure it cost a pretty penny, but I'm sure everybody was full. And that's what y'all should have been doing, laying around looking at TV. Diane on the couch, on the other couch, all the time, probably in his sleeper. He needs a recliner because he's going to need it after all the exertion he did on Mother's Day. He's going to need it. And then Portia, where was PJ? It ain't Father's Day. Where the hell PJ at? Where them other kids supposed to be running around there getting on y'all nerves? Y'all got rid of them? Y'all banished them to Never Never Land? Now what kind of mess is that? Because Portia should, Portia should have had PJ right there with her. Tasting every little thing that was set out for her little hands to get a hold of. Putting it up to her little baby mouth. But again, it's all about you Portia. It's all about your mama. And y'all give what y'all think y'all deserve. But cha 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 cha. A picture is worth a thousand words. And for you, Miss Diane, that's a sad way of training your daughter how to do what she's doing. Because that means she learned this shit from you. And it's totally bullshit. Okay? That you had her go in there. Mess up a marriage. Mm-hmm. Fall and painter, y'all know. Tried to be her friend on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And look how that turned out. She ain't on it, but she went on to bigger and better things. And got a younger uh, male suitor that she's going to be marrying soon. I mean, what are you doing? You're waiting for tit for tat, waiting for her to get married. For her to say she getting married next week so y'all can jump ahead of her a few days and get married before her. What's going on? If y'all can throw a spread, a lavish spread like this, go out there buying cars, okay? Having private masseuse <clears throat> coming in to massage, giving out all these little trinkets and stuff. Why you can't set a wedding date and get married? Better yet, go to the courthouse. Go on, on. Prove us wrong. You say you love her, Simon. You say you want to be with her. She's your, I, I guess, God's gift is what the, um, the meaning of her name was in this, then, and the third. 
Yes, I'm a gone and make her an honest woman because right now you're shacking. You're living in sin. Sodom and Gomorrah going on up in there. Okay. <coughs> what? <coughs> you like to do what you want to do and you want to floss it all on social media. So I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. Every time you floss, I'm going to be over here flossing too. Giving my commentary. Giving my perspective. Because that's what I do over here. I'm nosy as hell. That's why I made my channel. Mm-hmm. So I can definitely come here and be with my family. And we can have conversations about these comings and goings. And how these people try to act like they so upright. They so righteous. They are, uh, you know, good standing people in community. And got some shit like that going on. Like, why are you holding him on his chest, Diane? Why are you holding him on his chest? You trying to rub the boobies on him? So he can get a little action going on in his pants. He probably need that Viagra. But then again, hmm, he might have a heart attack trying to use it. So I think he might need to sit, sit that one out. Got on his little flip flops trying to dance. Look like he was having a seizure at the time. Whew, keep the crash cart carefully situated. In case Simon want to cut a rug, how we used to say back in the day. <laughs> he want to do more than a two-step. You're going to need the oxygen tank and the crash cart. Okay, and put speed dial 911 on there. <clears throat> so I'm asking Portia, is this a 2022 we ride in? Or is this a 2019? We want to know. Get on your social media page and let us sister know. Yes, you get and I report. You get and I report. I'll be ready to tell the masses for you. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it because I put it out there. I put it out there. Mm-hmm. Seems like that little grill kind of scratched up is abortion. So it must not be a 2022, baby. And then my Marcus, yes. I was like, why do y'all had to flaunt it? Because when y'all was riding in a Rolls Royce and had baby uh, PJ jamming to... Uh, before I let you go. Yes, honey. All right. We all was jamming on that. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, ba. Ba, 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 da, da. I had the baby girl jam, jam, jam. And them little uh, paper bags I saw. They look like kind of paper bags we kept at school for lunches. They ain't had no name on them. They should have died. Where did y'all go? Pottery Barn or something like that? Where did you go, Portia? Because you didn't show, showcase that. But now y'all going to come up here with some bags saying some Neiman Marcus. Well, if he just put some toiletries in there, uh, some scents and, and fragrances and creams, y'all need that big ass bag for that. What else came up in there? You had some sh por uh, uh, sheets by, uh, what is it, Pamper Portia sheets up in there, girl. Let us just know. Let us just know. <laughs> I'm pretty upset too because you didn't give me a doggy bag. You, you didn't give me any of that. So I'm throwing shade over here. I mean, if you're going to do that and you want people to partake in it, then ask them to come over sometime. Mm hmm. I sure would have been right there. Being like a, uh, what do you call it? A little investigative reporter. Mm hmm. Covering the whole comings and goings of that day for you. Yes, Lord. And I would have told you, uh uh, we cannot do no booty shaking up on no Instagram. Because you have a brand to protect. Yes, you do. And all that rump shaking, all I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. All I want to do is a zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. You remember that portion? Now, how can you go represent somebody like Tiffany and Company or uh, Nordstrom's? Or hell, even Nevis Marcus if you need it to. They'll take your money, but they ain't going to let you represent them. Putting all this kind of crap on Instagram. That ain't going nowhere. It's a damn shame. But that's all I got for this video, guys. You know I got plenty more. But I think I'm going to end it for tonight. I've been on a roll. I've been on a roll. Been hearing too much stuff going on at Porsche's camp. So I had to come in, be an investigative reporter, and tell my people. And we speculate. See what's going on. But I got three more videos to do on Mr. Simon Gabalia. Yes, Father Time. And then I'll get back with y'all. Okay? With y'all be breezy. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.